Hi people, how's it going? It's Sunday. I hope you turned your clocks back yesterday. We're down in the basement of P. Skylar and Sons. And Magnus is claiming these dwarves are his uh, kinfolk. So we're going to go talk to these guys about what's going on. Who are you? Why are you trespassing in the halls of my business establishment? Um, that guy, I'm sorry, but I need some information. You violated our home and our business out of need for information? That's preposterous. Your home is a basement crypt? You break into my home and then you have gall to insult me? Do you have any idea the powers I can bring to bear against you, stranger? Dark rivers of twisted image and dream, fragments of night fear, and the frayed and tattered screams of the desperate and the damned. Uh-huh. So, do you have a name to your evil rant? I'll be the one demanding answers around here. You've obviously no idea what you've stumbled into. And your situation will only get worse. I'm not going to ask you again. Why are you here? I told you. Specifically, it's about this ring. A signet ring. And these letters, GB. More than likely, they belong to the individual who purchased the ring from us. Uh-huh. And that would be... Seems we're at a crossroads. The Schuyler family have been in business for more than 400 years. Never once in all that time have we betrayed the trust of a customer. And yet here you are. And so much you've seen. Well, what's going on? I mean, are you just raising dwarves as laborers, or what? I suppose there's no harm in telling you, since I'm going to kill you anyway. I'm Winston Schuyler, and these are my brothers, Edward and Niles. The Schuyler name is an old family, one of the oldest families in all of Arcanum. We traced our bloodlines back to the Age of Legends and further, and always, from the very beginning, we've practiced the darker arts. Okay. Necromancy. Oh! You mean this? Bam, 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 bam. No, wait. That'll come later. Conjurings of the spirits, phantasmal speaking, the animation of an incurable dead. The Skylers are a family who spend their time in the Twilight Lands, cowled in death and shadow. Okay, well, that explains the dwarf zombies. It's, it's not as cruel as you might think. The bodies are long past usefulness to anyone. They're spirits, spiritless and good for digging. And the bounty we've discovered here in this dwarven tomb, they're extremely useful. So you think profaning the dead is the right thing to do? This tomb is from a clan long forgotten. The very fact it lies here in the lowlands and not in the mountains says they were more than likely considered a less dwarven people. In fact, it's a strong possibility they were outcasts. You know dwarves' true home is always in the hand-carved caverns of Stone Mountain. Well, um, this guy is taking mighty offense at what you're saying. I'm sorry, but look at the evidence. The quality of the stonework here is shoddy. Most of the jewelry we bring up from here is so poorly made that we have to melt it down for our own uses. And look, there's no writing on these walls. These words may have very well been illiterate. Hang on. These were Magnus's forefathers. I'm sorry, but the proof is irrefutable. Look at the dwarven zombies. All their foreheads are sloped. Many have physical defects, like extra toes. The eyes are very close together. No dwarf could possibly claim these freakish freaks as their people. What? Oh, no, you didn't. You are not getting away, son. That is not how this works. Go, Magnus. Go, go, Magnus. There we go. Human noble. Okay. He died in pot. Locked barrel. Where'd the other one go? There he is. Sorry, you can be naked now.
I'm not above robbing the dead. Screw these people. Will you hold this stuff for me, please? Thank you. You're you're an angel, Sog. Magic is awesome. A broadsword. What is it that you want of me? Oh, you're using magic sword. Okay. All right. We got paper. That's all. That's all you got. Telegram. Ding ding. To peace, Skylar and Sons. Please accept this telegram as my commitment for payment with the signet ring I made for my son, Gilbert Bates. Payment has been wired per your instructions. I will arrive in Tarant in two weeks to pick up the ring. Sincerely, Benjamin Gates. Bates. Hi. All right. Get information about the strange ring from Gilbert Bates. Okay. They don't seem to be doing anything. Thank you, my friend, for fighting by my side. I'd like to share something with you. My family name. Ooh. The name of my family is Shale Fist, and I, Magnus Shale Fist, am grateful to you. The dwarves of this clan would also be grateful to you. Well, they're not long dead. What do you mean of this clan? Are you not of their clan? No, I don't think so. I, I, I so wanted to find a clue as to who or where that I came from. I don't think these dwarves are my lost clan. So you fucking lied to me? You were so sure. I won't, my friend. I guess I can keep looking. In any case, would you mind if I continue traveling with you? Nah, that's cool. That's good. You can always use a dwarf in your party. That's what I always say. They're usually the only level heads in the bunch. <laughs> okay, let's get out of here. Yes, let's do so. Well, that solves that problem. Oh, there we go. Back up. <sighs> We've got a lot of stuff to sell. If you'll excuse... Who's got my dress? Who's got my dress? What is it that you want of me? Virgil, have you been dressing up again? Right. Get out of here. We'll stop at the inn. Drop off stuff. Words are hard. And gather things together.
That looks to be it. What is it that you want of me? Let me trade, let me check everything. Actually, give me this stuff. Alright. Alright. To the armor shop. Which reminds me. Does anybody have bad gear? How can I help you? And Sog? What? Give me that. You know the mole key in hand. Alright. Not the Smith shop. We want this one. Alright. Can you fix something for me? Alright. Buy or sell? need to go talk to Stevie Nicks and get things identified. The pirate ship strikes again! Get your paper here! Trading, please! I do not see any healing salves, okay? What is it that you want of Oh, no, that's a tavern. We don't want that yet. Here's a clothier. Oh, the tailor. Shall we barter, sir? Okay. Thank you. Very much. Another general store. You know who I have not looked at in a while? Sog is neutral. Okay, so potions are working on him. Can I help you? There you go. All right. Down here. There's a, um, see, junk dealer? Something like that. Okay, he can fix stuff. Ha! 
Ha! It's totally worth it. Thank you, sir. We shall save. Now we're gonna go see Stevie Nicks. Get her to identify stuff. Probably sell a few things. No, we'll probably just identify and then have to walk all the way back to the armors and sell stuff. How much farther do identification? I need willpower 18, so I need five more points, so at least five more levels. Six more. Seven. Eight. Because I have to get all these two. Can you identify something for me? That. 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 All right. How would you care about that? How can I help you? And how would you like this? Well, that's not going to do any good because he's not magical. What the hell? His encumbrance is moderate. Still moderate. A uh, light, okay. Yes. Okay, he likes that better. All right. Awesome. Okie dokie. This is 70 points. I wish I knew uh, what's better for a magic user, getting magic robes or wearing magic armor. How can I help you? Time to go back. So 
So we need to get uh, more healing salves, which I didn't see, for Magnus. Hang on, let me see a map. We'll go stuff this crap in a barrel. Not that barrel. Oh, this is not where I want to be. Oh my god. I should have just gone the other way. I think it would be safe to sell that armor. Since we're not going to... Um, que se que se? We're not going to be able to pick up any more humanoid companions. Because I'm at my limit. No interest. Nope. Yeah, you can have that. That one's mine. Okay. go drop off. I know somebody's home and they're going to answer that phone so I have to listen to it ring. <coughs> we got 2,000 gold. Can we get the money in there? Oh, we can. No, don't. I like it. I like the money on me. Okay, there we go. Now we need to go f do something. We need to find out who Gilbert Bates is. Talk to this guy? Hi, can I ask you a few questions? Training as an apprentice? No. Okay, do you know anything? Question. Um, do you know who Gilbert Bates is? Um, well, he lives at a t the tail end of Kensington Broadway. 50 East End Avenue is the address. Can't miss it. Anything else? What can you tell me about him? He's a bit of a recluse. He doesn't want to talk to anyone. He's inventor of the steam engine, you know. Rich beyond your wildest dreams. Hey, if you want to laugh, you could go speak to Cedric Appleby about him. Why would that be a laugh? Just thinking about that old coot makes me laugh. He hates old Gilbert, he does. Sends him into complete frenzy if you mention Bates' name to him. Okay, why? Jealousy. Bates is a genius, and Appleby couldn't make a decent steam engine to save his life. He's always trying to discredit Bates something or another. Okay, other questions... Just training. Nope. Alright, well we found out where he lives. Awesome. Now there's a guy that's standing on the corner being all growly and surly and stuff. I'm probably way off base. Uh, who are you? <sighs> My name's Matthew Jameson. Nice to meet you. Kay. Why are you standing out in the street? Pfft, I woke up this morning, you know, to took my early trip to the loo, so I'm washing off my hands and my wedding ring fell off right down the sink. And I went out with the lads last night. We had a few pints and I didn't get home till late. You know what the wife's going to think. I thought I might go down the sewers and see if I could find it, but there's some shit going on down there. It usually is in the sewers. Maybe I could go look for your ring. Would you? I'd be so appreciative. I don't savor the thought of tramping about the sewers, messing up my shoes. If you go down there and find the ring for me, I'd pay you 150 gold. Okay. Okay, so we're in the sewers. Wait. 
with some sort of rat object. Sewer rat, okay. Let me get my clothes on. And I think that's good. Let me get out of that. There we go. So we'll deal with the sewers tomorrow. Thank you for watching. I will see you. Adios.